Have you been thinking about adding a bit of video to your business, but the very thought of hitting that record button makes you feel a bit overwhelmed? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you eight ways to be more confident on video so that you can start using it to build your brand and grow your business. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Shawan, a brand and business coach. I help women entrepreneurs with branding and business growth strategy so they can amplify their impact and increase their bottom line. Here on the channel, I share branding and business tips. I also take you behind the scenes in my business as an entrepreneur. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and let's dive into today's video. I remember when I'd set a goal to add more video into my business, and at that time, I made this big goal to go live on Facebook every week. I was going to share branding tips, and I was also going to share some other content as well. But the very thought of not just pressing the record button, but pressing the go live button was absolutely terrified. It was overwhelming, I felt a bit anxious about it. So if you're feeling any of those ways, it's absolutely okay and you are not alone. I had so many limiting beliefs and thoughts rolling around in my mind. What if I'm boring? What if um, I forget what to say? <laughs> what if no one shows up? And you know what, there were weeks when no one showed up. But I had to come up with ways that I could overcome my limiting beliefs and some ways to help me to be more confident on camera because I really wanted to share valuable content with my audience, right? That was my number one reason for wanting to go live every week on Facebook. So I began to think through some ways that I could indeed boost my confidence so that I could show up. And I'm gonna share those eight tips. There are eight of them. I'm gonna share eight tips with you today to help you to be more confident on camera so that you can show it for your audience, deliver valuable content, and grow your business as well. All right, so let me dive into tip number one. Tip number one is to remember the reason why you're wanting to go on camera the first place. So why do you wanna add video into your business? Is it to show up for your audience and deliver valuable content to serve your audience in that way? So think about the why, the purpose behind you're wanting to add video, right? It's going to be so helpful to know what that purpose is for you or know that why for you so that when you have those days, when that inner critic starts to show up where you have something to go back to. I remember that year that I decided I was gonna go live on Facebook, my word of the year was purpose. And every time before I went live, I would have that card posted like in front of me or I would put it down on my desk so that I could glance at it and remember why I was going live. That really helped to calm some of those fears that I had or to silence that inner critic voice too. So think about why you're going on camera and use that as a motivation to show up and hit that record button. Tip number two is to plan ahead so that you can show up with valuable content to share with your audience. You can do this simply by asking them what they wanna hear from you, listen to their feedback. Once you start sharing videos, you can also check out the comments to see what comments are being left and you can see if your audience wants to hear more about a particular topic that you've shared on. So make sure that you ask your audience what it is that they wanna hear so that you can plan ahead and share valuable content with them. Once you know the type of content that you wanna share, you have a topic all ready to go, then you wanna write out the talking points for that content that you'll be sharing for that particular day or in that particular video. So writing out your talking points will help you if you feel that you're, you might clam up, you might forget what you're going to say, and that's a fear of losing your train of thought like I feel like I'm doing right now, but I do have talking points sitting here beside me so that I can stay on track. So write out what those talking points are to keep you on track as well. That will definitely boost your confidence. Tip number four to be more confident on video is when you hit that record button, make sure that you are looking directly into that lens and that you are imagining a friend 
sitting on the other side and you're just sitting down and you're having a conversation with them. That will help you to feel a lot more relaxed. You'll feel like you actually have someone that you're talking to because let me tell you, just sitting and talking to the camera, it can feel a bit awkward, but when you do imagine that you are looking into the lens and a friend is sitting on the other side, it will definitely help you to feel more confident and take away some of that awkwardness too. So think about that friend that's on the other side of the camera for you. Give them a name, give her a name, and talk to that friend when you push that record button. This next tip, I love it. It's one of my go-tos, even for clients when we have them coming in for branding photo shoots. One of the things that I do to help them feel more natural and relaxed is to put something in their hands. So that's my tip number five. Give your hands something to do. If you feel that, I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know if to place them down or put them on my lap or put them beside me. Just give them something to do. Pull out a coffee cup, maybe have a notebook beside you, but give your hands something to do. That will also boost your confidence and help you to feel more natural on camera as well. You know that saying, when you look good, you feel good. Well, I'm gonna use that for our tip number six, and that is to plan out what you're going to wear ahead of time to boost your confidence. So think about your favorite color, your favorite outfit, and make sure you try it on the day before you're going to record so that you will definitely look good and feel your best on camera. The next tip is to schedule the day that you're going to record your video on a light day. So what I mean by that is to look at your calendar and make sure that the day you're planning to record video is a very light day because stress can definitely be the enemy of on-camera confidence. You don't want to have stress hanging out. You wanna feel relaxed and calm and at ease. So make sure that you're recording on a light day. The next tip is practice, practice, practice. You know that saying that goes practice makes perfect well, in our case, we're going to remove the perfect because perfection is not our goal. Our goal is to show up and serve our audience with valuable content, right? So we want to remove that perfect part and use practicing to help us to boost our confidence and show up at our best. I shared an old video with the client last week. I think I recorded the video maybe two years ago and I was actually wanting to show her the structure that I use uh, with putting the video together. But what she was able to see was, wow, this is not the same person that I see on camera today. And that's because I put in so much time practicing over and over and over again, making mistakes, failing, but still showing up and still putting in the time of practicing. And that's what I'm going to encourage you to do. Don't think about what you may see someone else doing or how they show up on camera. Just think about your audience, right? So going back to number one, why is it that you want to show up on camera? You're there to serve your audience, right? So schedule out maybe one day or two a week where you simply practice. You can do that by using your phone, hitting that record button. Maybe you say your elevator pitch, your one-liner, and just simply practice. Practice it over and over. Maybe write up some content, take out some talking points that you wanna share with your audience. And before you post this, simply make a video that you may not share, but that you can use as a practice round or rounds to boost your confidence. If you want more branding and business growth strategy tips for your business, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.